Good morning. So I'm down on the field today, and I've got two tasks that I want to get done today. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't do the second one if I can't do the first one. So, uh, first task is I need to get rid of this pile of wood again. So this is built up in the last month. Um, so, I, yeah, I've just run out of space. I need to get rid of this before it becomes a problem. The problem is, because it is only a month old, most of this is green wood. And for that month, it's pretty much rained the entire month. So it's going to be a struggle to get that to light. Uh, so I won't record it because it's just going to smoke a lot. Um, but if I can get that going, I can then work on clearing this path. Because not only is it creepy and people don't want to walk down it, it's not exactly the safe. We've got those willow trees hanging over there with all the ivy on them. They're getting too heavy uh, and they're liable to snap. Um, and down through here, I mean, this that's in the middle of the path isn't actually attached. That is a piece of willow that has fallen. You've got a couple more there that look like they're dead and rotting at the base. Just need to take the uh, laurel back there and take some of the laurel back there, just widen the path back out. But if I can get the fire going, I can cut that and put that straight on the fire. So let's see if I can get the fire lit. So I'm doing the same as last time I had a fire. So I brought some dry stuff in from home uh, and I'm just basically lighting a fire underneath the fire. So hopefully this will have enough heat in it to dry out the stuff above it. And then I can just pile stuff on top of this once it's going and it'll just basically dry and burn as it goes. So, all right. Okay, so that's all the logs I've brought with me on. It is starting to burn above it. Uh, so I've just started putting some branches over the top here. And that's mainly to try and keep the heat in. Uh, I know this is green, so it's not gonna burn terribly easily. But if I can keep that heat in, it will warm up everything in there and dry it out. So it's at a stage it will burn. So it looks like it's finally taken hold in the middle there. So I can just carry on adding stuff on top now. Like I said, it would be smoky, but I knew I could get it to go. Uh, it would be so much easier if I just had a shredder though. <laughs> okay, so that's everything cleared from over there. I might come back and rake the leaves up over there. Uh, theory is you want to rake the leaves so that they don't kill the grass, but that has sort of perpetually had branches on it for the last however many years uh, waiting to go on a fire so there isn't any grass under there to save um, but that's the last of it on the fire so it's now 12 o'clock it's been two hours having this fire I'm going to quickly stop and have some lunch and hopefully that will carry on burning through over lunch and then I can go and get on with that bit over there and as I cut it bring it over and put it directly on the fire so I don't have stuff laying around again so yeah let's go have some lunch Okay, so I'm all fueled up on corned beef sandwiches. So this is a path from the other end. Uh, and I just sort of thought I'd take a walk through first, uh, have a look at what needs to be done. Uh, now this is part of the public footpath. So public footpath comes down through there, round here. Uh, and it, I mean, it's not a problem if they walk diagonally across the field, but this is the official path that's marked on maps and things. So we've got this large conifer here. I can't do too much to that because with conifers, if you cut back into dead material, it doesn't regrow. So I can take a little bit off the tips of this, but I'm not gonna get any more space on that side. Uh, this side, however, there's a few branches I can take off, a couple of the little laurels here. That'll just give me a bit more space there. Uh, and then this bit's not too bad again, a couple more little bits off the laurel here. Uh, that willow here is looking a little bit dodgy. I'll leave the other one. Um, and the top's actually been taken out of that by the electricity board. So we've got power lines that run over here. So I don't think they're going to worry too much if I take that one down. Um, but it is really this bit here that's causing the problem, isn't it? Uh, so you've got a laurel there. Let's go around this side. So you've got a large clump of laurels there. And you can see there's a branch that's come down there and touched the floor. And it's basically layered itself. So you've got another laurel here. Uh, so it would actually not be nice to take those out. And that'll widen it a little bit more on that side. And then, like I say, we've got the dead willows here. And then the laurels on this side are actually part of that hedge. I say hedge. <laughs> but yeah, that hedge that's all the way over there. So, uh, yeah. Let's get the chainsaw and see what I can do. I'm going to start by taking that out because I think it will look so much better when I do that. Yeah. <laughs> 
There we go, that's looking more inviting already. Right, if I get rid of this pile, put it on the fire, then I can carry on. So that's looking loads better already. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do too much more to it because I'm actually struggling to burn, despite the base of that fire being really hot, the stuff on top just sort of smokes, doesn't want to burn. Uh, the other thing is that the owner has heard the chainsaw because he doesn't like me cutting trees down. So I don't really want to do anything that's going to notice too much. But this piece here, it really gets me. It looks awful uh, and it worries me every time I walk underneath it. So I've got a long handled saw here, I'm going to trim the side branches off that are dead. Uh, there's one branch over there that I can take off as well to raise the height and I'll try and remove as much of this ivy as I can. The more I get off, obviously if I cut it at the base, the stuff at the top's going to die, the more I can get off the better. Um, but yeah, let's see what that does. So I've managed to clear as far as I can reach up there. Uh, unfortunately that stuff at the top is just gonna have to stay and die in place because it won't pull off. The reason being, why ivy is really weird. You can see as it's come up here, it's crossed itself and it's just joined into each other. Uh, so it's kind of done crisscrossed all the way up. So it's just this lattice work of ivy around the tree. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get a bit more off the base here, but I can't do anything to up there. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. I'm still going to have to wait around, wait for the bonfire to finish burning down, get rid of that rubbish. But I think I've done all I can along here. So I'll try and get some before and after shots into here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get these trees down, but the owner doesn't like me cutting trees down. So I've killed off the ivy that's up there. Um, and I have removed some of the side branches, so it doesn't look quite as bad coming through here. Uh, this was the biggest section here. The laurels had grown right in from the side there and it was almost impassable. So you can get through here nice and easily. And it's a nice path now. It, you want to walk along it. You want to see what's at the end here. I gave it a bit of a tidy up along at the end there as well. But yeah, so that's looking good. So yeah, if you like this video, do leave a like and please subscribe. And I shall see you later.